Hello guys, I'm Tim Clank from Master Tech, America's number one bumper to bumper service collision and renovation center. And here we're talking about a little bit about boiler maintenance in a hydronic heating system in a recreational vehicle. So what we're gonna talk about today is physically antifreeze. So your boiler antifreeze in the unit should always be at a negative 20 to a negative 10. It should be right around in that um, content or that mixture ratio. The reason why is for best heat concentration, better performance on heating your zones, your, your domestic water system, etc. How we check that is with a refractometer. If you don't have a refractometer, you should probably get one because what happens in a hydronic heating system is traditionally you will lose a quart a year of fluid. So in, when you're losing a quart, you don't know if you're losing the alcohol or you don't know if you're losing the actual um, water, the H2O. So traditionally, you may only need to add the water only, not actually antifreeze. So that's a good um, idea is to physically have a refractometer to be able to check your glycol content in the, the actual um, reservoir or in the tank. So you have two different types of non-toxic antifreeze that is used in a recreational vehicle. We have our yellow and we have our red. So in yellow and red, it is available in different mixtures. You have a ready to use, which is a premix, or you have your negative 100. So traditionally when we're doing services and we do hundreds and hundreds of these a year, is we'll come to these units and they'll be at like negative 80. That's because the customer always took the negative 100 and added to their tank for replenishment of the um, spent antifreeze in their system. You can get your best performance of any hydronic heating system keeping it at a negative 20 to a negative 10. So this system here, even though these are both in gallons, this one is a premix. It says do not dilute. So this one is mixed at negative 20. This one here is negative 100. The reason why we have different mixtures, again, we don't know if you need to add water, or antifreeze. So say you have a system that is in the zero range. You would just add 100% to that to get your alcohol content back up. But then in the same ratio, if it was the opposite, you would just add water to physically um, lower the boiler content. So a little bit about uh, antifreeze safety here and antifreeze performance in a recreational vehicle. Again, have a refractometer and uh, always be safe out there. Uh, I'm Tim Clank with Master Tech, America's number one bumper-to-bumper -bumper service collision and renovation center.